वेलकम टू आई आई पी ए न्यूज़ दिस वीक पावर्ड बाय इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन विद व्यू टू मेक इंडिया वन ऑफ द टॉप स्पोर्ट्स नेशन बाय ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री द सिविल एविएशन मिनिस्ट्री अंडर द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज लॉन्च नेशनल एयर स्पोर्ट्स पॉलिसी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू द पॉलिसी इज लॉन्च विद एन एम टू प्रोवाइड अ सेफ अफोर्डेबल एक्सेसिबल इंजॉयबल एंड सस्टेनेबल एयर स्पोर्ट्स इको सिस्टम इन इंडिया with this policy india foresees a potential to be among the leading nations in the world of air sports air sports as the name suggest includes various sports activities involving the medium of air like air racing aerobatics aero modeling paragliding para motoring sky diving to name a few india has a large geographical expanse diverse topography and fair weather conditions We also have a large population, especially the youth, with the growing culture for adventure sports and aviation. The Union Minister of Civil Aviation, Jyoti Rao Sindhya, while launching the policy, said that the ministry wants to create an environment of adventure, thrill, and sports in the country. For this, they will leverage the energy of the youth below the age of thirty-five. That accounts for seventy percent of India's population. which is larger than the total population of Europe and three times that of USA while the aim will be to promote air sports culture enhance participation and success of indian sports person in global sports events the policy will also encourage development and manufacturing of air sports equipments in india in line with atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan india with its huge geographical expanse extending from himalayas mountainous region states in the northeast plains in central india coastal regions on the western eastern coastline has an ability to have the widest diversity of air sports the policy will serve to attract air sports enthusiast from all over the world especially those who live in areas where harsh winters prevent them from participating it's believed that Air sports enthusiasts from Europe, North America and Australia would flock to India to practice in winters. Speaking on the future of air sports in India, the minister feels that rupees 8000 to 10000 crore annual revenue can be targeted to generate over 1 lakh direct jobs and the economic multiplier benefits in terms of travel, tourism, sports services and local infrastructure development will be over 3 times at present the market size is at around 5000 air sports practitioners creating around 80 to 100 crore of annual revenue in india the air sports federation of india under the ministry is planning to collaborate with the armed forces of india central armed police and various state police forces as they have excellent training facilities equipments and instructors for air sports the ministry will encourage state governments and union territories as well as to develop the necessary infrastructure and facilitate promotion of air sports and tourism this may include development of new air sports centers construction of new runways or repairing existing ones development of new launch pads and landing pads and financial support for events and training as well an orientation workshop on urban governance for mayors chairperson and municipal commissioner chief executive officers from urban local bodies from jammu and kashmir was organized recently in iipa honorable union minister dr jitendra singh graced the occasion iipa faculty dr k k pande and dr sachin choudhary coordinated the program The Jammu and Kashmir Regional Branch of IIPA organized an exhibition come interaction on the theme Jammu Smart City Connecting the Dots recently. The aim was to create an awareness on various initiatives undertaken under the aegis of Jammu Smart City Limited. To know about the activities of IIPA you can access our newsletter on our website that is iipa.org.in. This was all about IIPA news this week. Thank you for watching.